Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Mega Aquarium Strategy and Tactics Episode 5. So today we get into talking. Uh, not not just me talking. I, I've been doing this, this that, that the whole series. That's not uh, anything new. But no, uh, talking as in getting into talking with our employees, giving speeches, and exploring that mechanic, and more importantly, abusing it to all oh, heck. Um, now we had access to uh, podiums uh, and whatnot uh, from day one, but I wouldn't say you. I would say you don't want to get into this right off the get-go. Uh, you want to get more tanks in place, more fish in place, more guests in place, uh, and more importantly, get some uh, get some higher tier fish to actually brag about. Because the strength of your speeches is bo well, both governed by the skill of your employees, and we'll see what we can find on that front. But also the um, uh, the press, you know, the base sort of the baseline prestige um, or science of your various animals. If you've got some impressive creatures to brag about uh, with your uh, with your uh, creatures here, then uh, then then your speeches can be a little bit more effective. Right then, and if you hear rustling paper, I am just getting my list of Patreon subscribers because we're about to hire somebody and we're going to have them be our Talkie McTalkerson. So let's see who our Talkie McTalkerson will be. Uh, let's see here. Who's got, who's got the talking and actually more importantly, who's actually legitimately good at talking? Ben is not so legitimately good at talking. Uh, we need them to have the talking skill but be good at it um abdul has something but you you come with a lot of others and that well i mean the fitness isn't so bad for the talkers i don't really care too much about that um let's see just who else a pure talker and actually you're pretty good um as a as a as a pure talker here decent charisma decent memory um really high pre um uh, Really had precision, but yeah. So your gins, wow, a feeding five. Um, just seeing if there's any other natural talkers here. Um, actually, you are our best. Scarlet is our best. Uh, is our best uh, natural talker here. I don't care if she's got a one thing here. We can have her talk primarily, and hey, if she wants to do some cleaning on the side, that's fine. Um, so yeah, welcome aboard. All right, Scarlet. Uh, yeah, talking's gonna get the the uh, the, the precedence here, uh, but you are not going to be called Scarlet. Larissa, welcome aboard. Okay, now, um, so one thing that we need is to get a mic headset, uh, which, I mean, we can stick anywhere here, that's fine. But now we need to start getting pads. Now, the way you, you want to do talking, your podiums here, rather, the way you want to do this is that each, a single employee that is dedicated to talking can give can can maintain <clears throat> up to six different podiums and you need a separate podium for each different fish and you want to have lots of different fish otherwise people will get bored with the speeches so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do we're gonna just um you, what you want to do is you want to do this right at the beginning of the day so right at, ni um, at 9 a.m which is perfect so we're gonna do a podium here a podium here um, and you know what? Yeah, let's do a podium here. We're just going to put down three for now to start with. Now we want to define all three of them. We want one um, to happen right at 9 a.m. Uh, and we want, this is the important part, two days in between each talk. Now, um, these podiums will, will hook into the various tanks that they are near and let us brag about different things, but only with the fish that are nearby. Um, now I want to sort of um, uh, f uh, focus in on our our higher prestige people. This is the using uh, talks for prestige is probably the most effective thing to do. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Zebra Moir. I know that the, the uh, Epaulette Shark is the top tier, but uh, just because of setup stuff, I'm going to start with the Zebra Moria Eel as our first talk for this tank. We'll do the Epaulette tomorrow. Um, over here, now what we want to do here is we want this one to be 12 o'clock. Um, and again, two days in between. Um, and then over here, I mean, we could do the shark here, but I want to I wanna grab something from the other tank here. Um, actually, it looks like all of the, all of those are, are, are really, all, all of the prestige fish are in our ambassador tank. Um, are there things that are top tier yet? Yeah, tinfoil barb, 360 uh, things. That's, that's worth it right there. Anything that's over a 300 in terms of either ecology or science is worth it because that is like um, that's like a science poster being bombed on everybody or in this case the ecology poster being bombed on everybody, uh, which is a good thing. Um, and then lastly, over here, uh, this third pad, we're going to want this at 1500 days between two. Uh, now we have a new group of people, and yeah, um, the fuzzy dwarf lionfish for that science. I knew those things are worth a metric F-ton of, uh, of science here, so fuzzy dwarf lionfish, go. And these pads aren't cheap. I mean, they look like they're just pads, but they're, they're like 300 apiece. Um, so you'll want to make sure you have enough, enough people to make, worth it, make these speeches worth it. Uh, now, people can step on the pads, which is fine. Um, but essentially, yeah, we want them to give the talk here. So watch this. So here, they're giving their talk about the Zebra Moray Eel, and everybody around them is getting AOE, Area of Effect uh, bonuses, um, to, to earning prestige because of their speech here. And as we level them up in talking, their speeches will just get better and better. All right, they finished that speech, so now they're ready to move on to the next one, the 12 o'clock one. Um, and now we're going to get AOE um, ecology from everybody. So this bar is going to start racing itself up higher and higher and higher. So essentially, talking doesn't actually make you any extra money, but it really helps boost all of your ratings, especially when you do it properly. Um, and then, yeah, this one single headset will be put to use for all the different podiums by one employee. So one employee, one headset, um, and six podiums uh, spread across two different days because we want them. So, yeah, everybody's getting a big old science lesson here uh, thanks to that fuzzy dwarf fish here. All right, next day we are ready. So let's do our next round of... Uh, our next rounds of uh, podiums so we can program them to be on the off days here. Um, we're going to actually put the um, them over here and then over here and actually let's do it over here because there's a couple of things that we want in here. Um, so this one is going to be our shark. Our big 10 prestige shark. Um, so that's where I want you headed next. The one after that, we already bragged about the Zebra Moray Eel, so we don't want to double up on, on, on those, but we do want to crank the prestige a little bit more. Uh, we could brag about the Disco Mushrooms, which actually probably would be a good idea. I say brag, but it's an, it, it is, strictly speaking, an educational talk about the, the, the various things here. Uh, we could also brag about the Flame Angel Fish if we really wanted to go for that, but let's see what else we got in here. Are there any other 300-plus uh, ecology ones? Um, not really. Um, yeah, we're, already, we're already talking about the Fuzzy Dwarf Ryan Fish. Uh, we could do Blind Cave Tetra for more science, because that is above 300. I mean, not you. You don't have to strictly keep it to just above 300. I mean, anything, anything in the 200s is actually still pretty darn good, anyway. 
but yeah, you generally want to lean on your prestige earners because that's that's what's going to get you into new levels. Um, so, but you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna forego a uh, our bright cape tetra, especially since they're talking on this pad over here. Makes no sense to uh, ignore the blind cave texture. We got plenty of them anyway. All right, so now our uh, our employee, our three pads are on their one day off cycle. So the three pads that we put down yesterday will not get any speeches, but that's okay because you do not want to inundate people with repeat spe uh, speeches. Ooh. All right, all right, good. Fix the tank there. Just want to make sure we're keeping up with all the other things, feedings and what have you. So yeah, that's the shark right there. We are we are bullseyeing the shark here, um, and getting Boku uh, Boku prestige for that. Excellent. Uh, oh yeah, we also finished our our thing here. We're almost done with our uh, with our our uh, fish here. I wonder when we get this thing if this thing is actually going to be a higher prestige if you talk about it. Uh, because the, the what the fish is good at when you put it in the tank versus what the fish is good at when you talk about it can can be a little bit different. I mean, they're they're set based on the fish, uh, but worth looking into because you can always change which fish they're bragging about on any given podium. All right, clownfish get... Um, the other thing I was looking at is this marbled serpent starfish. Yes, there is an offer for us to um, to actually just get that. Um, but well, I don't know. The other thing I was thinking of, and I was I was pondering different um, unicorn sturgeon fish. Is there a reason why I don't put the unicorn sturgeon fish? Because I could just research this thing let it grow to full size and then trade it in for the starfish and then get another one of them. I mean, it's 8 to 18. It is a, it, it is a big boy. Um, but it doesn't actually hurt the tank, really. Um, you know, we could do this, the unicorn sturgeon fish. Oh, wait. When fully grown, it will require a tank of at least 108. Right. Yeah. No, that's not... We, no, we can't handle... A, some of the wants a, a 108 tank. That's not quite big enough. Okay. Um, in that case... Hmm. Well, we could... Yeah, we could go for the starfish. But, I mean, that takes so long to research. And I have... I mean, we're starting to build up our money. And I have a idea what I want to do next. Um... I want to go a little different here. I want to start getting into cold water stuff, and I want uh, I want a different type of tank. So let's go super specialized here and go for the moon jelly. These guys are seven prestige uh, a piece, and they're not too big, uh, but they do require the uh, creasel tank here. Um, but you know what? I think they are worth the effort because I like I like the the they they are they are very cool looking. So no complaints there. And they'll be a little bit faster. Oh yeah, uh, we spend all that time clownfish into the ambassador tank. You go. We're up to 15 different species here. <clears throat> now let me just uh, check here. What happens? If we brag. All right. Yeah, bragging about the clownfish is only four prestige. Not worth it. Not worth it. So I think we'll keep everything as is. Still worth it to include in the tank just to goose our. Uh, um, ecology poster at the very least. We're about to get coffee machines going here. That's always good. Ay ay ay. Alright, what else do we got here? Uh, toadstool leather coral. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, that's one I haven't researched yet, but it'll fit right in. Yeah, it's a deal. Get in there. New species. Get. Fantastic. All right, coffee machine get. Hmm. And 
now we can start getting into some bigger stuff. Deep outcrop tank, mega filters. Mega filter might be a thing, especially since uh, we might need it to goose our uh, freshwater tanks in the future. Oop, got litter bugs. I don't know if we actually have a broom closet. How, why do we have a litter bug right here? We got we got things around here, but let's make sure we have a broom broom stand here. Because uh, I know we have a couple of employees that uh, that are that do cleaning. Uh, you know what? We're gonna tell you to do cleaning if it is needed uh, uh, as a priority. You can do you can do cleaning if you're done with your talking McTalkersons. Because um, you're not particularly good at cleaning, but you are good at chatting. Uh, okay, you're fixing that. That's good. Just making sure that none of our tanks due to animal growth haven't uh, sort of uh, lurched over to that. Oh, yeah, we have a couple of things here. We need a sponge, too. Um, and I'm not talking about the, the uh, invertebrate. We, we need actually a literal sponge um, to clean the toilets because people are starting to nuke it. People are starting to nuke it. Yeah, that still gives people room to maneuver in there. That's fine. And our cleaning priority person should uh, take to the task of doing that um, over uh, over doing the others. Oh yeah, we are we are starting to get some aggressively nuked toilets here. We may want to just hire a new feeder just to uh, make up for the fact that this person probably isn't going to be doing too much cleaning. Although, actually, Larissa's already uh, grabbing and doing the cleaning, so thank you, Larissa. Two days until next talk, one day until next talk. Oh. Hmm. Have you already done all of your talking? Or do we just have a day off for cleaning? I mean, which is fine. We don't want to oversaturate people with the talking McTalkersons. All right, so let's let's um, in anticipation for our moon jelly tank here. Let's get this prepped. So what we're gonna do here is I I foresee this this whole area being a, uh, a sort of a utility area. We're we're gonna scooch some of this over here. Um, you know what? We can do like a back-to-back -back deal here, and uh, say a back-to-back -back deal here. We can move this over one. Um, the nuked toilets. Uh, you know what? We can put the nuked toilets like here and here, just sort of have them dip into this area. Um, and then yeah, the uh, bending machines. Actually, which ones are? Fizzy drink, yeah, we gotta get rid of the fizzy drinks, actually. Because they need to be replaced with coffee. People need their coffee. As far as I can tell, there is no reason not to go with the higher class uh, vending machine, once you've researched it. Um, because you get a, a better profit margin and people tend to like the beverage more. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't need the machines up there. I want them all down here. Because when people first come in, they're not going to be tired, hungry, thirsty right off the bat. They're, they're going to futz around down here, and then by the time they make their way down here, they're going to be like, hmm, I could, I could use a little, uh, a little relief from something. Um, so we'll go, we'll go like that. That works. Now the. Um, the, the tank, the Kreisel tank. This is a specialized tank that we have to use for our, our moon jellies, but I'm okay with that. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, uh, now this thing, we, we, can't, we can't make it the 90, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, we're gonna make you as big as we can, which is 64. Uh, now I'm just going to get sort of like the, the baseline here set up. Uh, this is gonna be bothering me. We can't, we can't achieve symmetry here. Hang on. That's
That's more like it. Yes. Excellent. All right, so then we get a nice little wall from here to here, here to here. Uh, we get a staff door in here. Now, the Kriesel tank, as you can see, doesn't have a lot of surface area for attaching equipment to it. So I'm actually going to be using a pump system here to, to sort of supply it with the stuff that it needs. Um, but that's okay. That's perfectly okay. Um, because we can just put the pump stuff back here. Um, what I want to do is um, just get all the equipment set up first, and then I will actually put the uh, jellies in once we have it and have the money for them. So we're going to do a power pump. I know you, we only need that, but I'm, I have another tank in mind later on that's going to be another cold water tank. I kind of want to have it uh, pair up with this and there, therefore share resources. So we're going to do a, a power tank hook you up there um, chillers we need chillers instead of uh, instead of this uh, in order to uh, supply this um, actually yeah let's we gonna scoot you back a smidge meter here large chiller like that we are also going to need you here and a ladder to feed um, we will also need a, uh, just a vanilla pump, large filter, we'll go like that, and I think for the moment that'll be okay, if we need more we'll, we'll take more, but I'm just going to leave it like this until we actually get our jellyfish in. Now, people aren't going to really complain too loudly um, uh, when, when we have something like this. Actually, it would be a really nifty thing, just for symmetrical purposes here. we got a bench going here, and then another one right here, and that way people can lounge back and take a glance at the uh, at the jellyfish. That's uh, That looks good to me. So many people need to use the toilet, but uh, we're, we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up. Michael has leveled up. You're, yeah, you're our feeder with the backpack. You absolutely just need more levels of feed day. Absolutely. Uh, because now, now you can do your high capacity feeding and do it even faster. I was waiting for you to level up. Ooh, we've got some who have, um, we need more, we need, we need more uh, caves here. Fair enough. We need more cave power. Driftwood cave. That should be good. There's our moon jelly. Excellent. Okay, now let's uh, let's go through the the research here. See if there's any other good cold water fish. Because I'm I'm gonna kind of lean into cold water stuff for a little bit. Um, the Atlantic pollock, not too bad. Um, a decent sized fish. It eats animals, but we're we're gonna be dealing with larger animals here. I don't think there's too many cold big or uh, tiny cold water fish the way that you have tiny large uh, warm water fish. Um, on the flip side, we could actually just grab that marbled serpent starfish. That's actually probably wouldn't be a bad thing. Grab them and add it to the ambassador tank. Yeah, let's do that. But because we can, we we got our we got our jelly tank going here. It's 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 um, well, we're about to get our jelly tank going here. So I was looking at these things. So. The moon jellies have a have a thing. Conagers are cannot be housed with any non other inverts. Um, it's kind of like with the whole lionfish thing, which is actually not bad because there's another non invert that happens to be um, a cold water lover, a, a common starfish. Um, 
which can grow all the way up to a size 14. Uh, <clears throat> so if you take the if you take the uh, the base tank size uh, of 64, uh, take that out there. We can get eight of these moon jellies in there with a little room to spare, um, and they'll all be happy in there. So we're gonna toss in one common starfish, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four, uh, or not. But hey, everyone's happy in the tank right now. And the common starfish is a uh, filter feeder here, um, or rather a scavenger. So they'll uh, they'll help mop up some of the garbage and keep the water quality up a little bit more so we don't have to get into machines too quickly. Um, And yeah, people are people are liking these moon jellies. That's what I'm saying. They're they're not really going to be there for the starfish. Starfish is only worth two prestige. Um, I'm just really just putting in there just just to tick the box, um, and also just for it to provide a little bit of cleanup. Because I imagine once it grows the size 14, it will do a significant amount of uh, cleanup of the tank. So that probably will be just peachy. Um, now I saw one other. Thing here. Now, I want to see if this will actually count. Uh, we have a frilled anemone. Um, does that count as a non-invert? Um, because it's technically not a vertebrate. I want to put it in here just to see if it... Yeah. Oh, and then it needs lights too. Never mind. That just made everybody hangry. So, no, we're not doing that. We are going to put uh, four more moon jellies in there and that should work um and the tank needs a little bit more oomph well you know what i think what we can do since you're just a percent off we can just uh put in some rubble because nobody really has any um any specific um you know requirements on that front so we can just make the the bottom of the tank all rubbly And that should uh, that should work nicely. All right, we got Michael here with the rocking out the backpack, feeding up all of our jellies, and then every time the jellies get fed, the starfish automatically gets fed basically the leftovers of whatever the jellies didn't eat, which is fine. Everyone's happy here except for the spawns, which is fine by me. Ooh, but our lionfish are growing, um, uh, are growing bigger and poopier. That um, and it is starting to overwhelm our, uh, our 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 stuff here. Hmm. Okay, well, um, well, we are about to get the Mega Filter, but I don't know if that's going to really help us out. Um, what I might do is, let's see if we sell the Nitrate Reactor and put in the Double Filter here. So we get a little half and half here. Ooh, that's even less effective. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That is less effective. So what we really want is two nitrate reactors. The problem is that we uh, we don't really have the room for it. Not not with our because um, if we put one, we can put one here on this corner, and we can put one here, but that's going to block people off. Um, I guess if we move the muscles here, we could do two nitrate reactors. Not enough money. Okay. Um, what's the cash money on these? Oh, oh, we're, we almost have enough money. Okay, yeah, because people can can uh, uh, enter the stairs sideways, um, so people can still get in and out of this whole area. I'm starting to see a few more machines busted. There's our mega filter. Um, large double filter. This might be a good thing to get for these two, because these two are each 90, and this is 100, 100. Takes up the same space. Yeah, we're 
we're starting to get we're starting to get some lowered stuff here. Please grab these. Start fixing. All right, and there's our tox going off. We're we're getting pretty close to the next level here. Um, and we got more people leveling up. Yeah, all the lionfish uh, grow grew in size. That's why we suddenly had a, a it a lot harder here. Spotted boxfish. Well, we'll eventually be getting one of those fully grown, but it'll take me a while. Uh, Thibbo. Yeah, get ye more fixing, please. JC. Um, yeah, you are the terrible feeder, so more cleaning. Still, still can't grab the fan shrimp, but that's okay. We're still in pretty good shape here. All right, folks. Well, I think this is a, uh, a good stopping point here. Our talks are going off here. We got our moon jellies rocking out. Um, and just more, more uh, to come here. We, we are certainly not done with our uh, cold water um, uh, expeditions here. We just need to build up our uh, cache a little bit more here. Just just a, just a touch more if, uh, if, if somebody wants to sponsor me in game here. Uh, go ahead. If you want to sponsor me uh, out of game, uh, you can check out my Patreon um, for other ways to support the channel. If you want to keep, uh, keep this going and, uh, and uh, help me out a little bit, always appreciate it. Um, so if you guys uh, like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!